stones. Get a like a sharpening stones. Ugh, I can't even imagine having dull kitchen knives. That sounds like the fucking worst. No Fed meeting this week. I mean, they had a they have a meeting today, like a closed door meeting. It, it might be the allergy pills. I'm not sure. I, I took some, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had like allergies in a while, so it may be that I'm just like not used to them, and they're making me drowsy. Okay, no, that's not sharpening a knife. That's just that's just destroying a knife. Don't don't get me started on knife sharpening cuz it's going to be like a whole thing. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Ding ding. The day is done. No, no knife DD. There's a subreddit for that already. Well, today was a nice recovery. I, I think I think people are missing the fact that we rose up rapidly through the 3,600 level, ultimately failing the test at 37, pushing up far harder today than anyone would have expected this morning. Um, really, really good close to the day. Uh, you know, obviously some of some of the stocks we're interested in, GME, Macy's. Probably BBBY to some extent, Fubo, you know, they're still being internalized a lot and not really getting as much action from the market as uh, as we would like. But if the market continues to push up, it's good because it puts pressure on that internalization, right? Uh, the more pressure on that internalization, the more likely it is to break or give a little ground, if you will. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, right now, if the spy can hold and ES can hold 3650 overnight, we we do look very good for tomorrow with many of the the two and three DTEs moving into the forefront. Lots of those remember short side. So um capitulation on those will be important as well. But yeah, everything everything kind of bouncing and moving up as expected. I think it looks really good and I'm excited for the rest of the week. Um you know, we have a big day Wednesday with balance of trade um, and I believe PMI data coming out. Right? Or am I wrong? Yeah. Um, global composite services and non-manufacturing PMI um, with Bostic speaking after market close. So Wednesday could be kind of exciting. Tomorrow we have the Jolts job openings and a bunch of Fed speeches. Um, you know, a little bit of UN push to get the Fed to stop raising rates momentarily. Um, maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe we're going to hit an economic renaissance in America where the dollar can buy us anything outside of our own country, but nothing in it. Which will be really interesting. It'll get a lot of Americans to flee the country, which will mean even more demand for jobs. No? Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Um, Got to get all the boomers out, right? Make way for, for immigrants to come in. And what better way than to up-price our currency and get them to move to Thailand? Anyway, Sultan of Swing, thank you, Dork. Um, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for another fun day of stocks. Have a good one, guys.